Okay, today we're going to make an Ethernet straight through cable using Cat5 enhanced uh, unshielded twisted pair wire. Strip your wire about an inch and a half, two inches down to give you enough room to play with the wires. I get rid of the little uh, silky braiding that's in there because it gets in your way when you're trying to manipulate the wires. Once we do that, we are going to separate the twisted pairs with the orange and white to the left, the brown and white to the right, and then the green and the blue and whites uh, way and towards you. Now, untwist the pairs and then try to straighten them out as best you can. Note the curving action that I use and that's similar to rubbing your dollar bill on the corner of a vending machine to straighten it out. It just makes it a lot easier to straighten out but you gotta kinda pinch it really strong. Now, once we've done this we are then going to put them in order and there will be notes at the end of the video as to the um, wire orders. Always remember that the pattern is white solid white solid white solid white solid. Okay. Now the only difference with this is when we do the blues we're going to put the blue and white in between the green and white so that it goes white orange and then the uh, you know white orange orange and then green white blue blue white green brown white brown notice that I'm separating them and then placing the blues in between the greens and then I'm going to put the uh, white brown and brown and the orange white and orange in their appropriate places then I'm going to try to bring them together as best I can and uh, you kind of have to bend them a bit once you do that. There's the order there. Now, I keep th keeping them pinched lightly so that they stay flat, that's the key. And then I, I bend them a bit, you see, to kind of get them to, to, to come together as best as possible. And then I trim them down to about a half inch, quarter inch, or half inch, three quarters of an inch with my um, crimpers. Now, when we use the RJ45 connector, make sure that the tab is away from you and you can see the um, connections. Once you slide them into their appropriate channels, and push the shielding up in there a little bit so that it's past the little plastic block. Note where the teeth are on your crimper, slide it in, and give it a pretty good squeeze to make sure that it's in there and it's not going to pop off if somebody accidentally yanks on the wire. Check your order and then we'll test the wire. Now I've already completed the other end of this wire so all we're going to do is put it in the tester. Uh, keep in mind that different testers have different settings. This particular tester, which is a fox and hound tester, has a signal and cable setting. Um, it also has a receiver and sender, just like most testers. Uh, the settings on the side there, which I'll show you. I don't know if you can read them. I have it set to cable, and I press the test button. Note that all four lights are green and solid, meaning that the wire is good.